Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Hartwick. I'm a Network Administrator at Maximum IT. And today I'm going to talk about Exchange 2010 and how we can add disclaimer messages to the end of our emails, or the beginning, or both, if you want a disclaimer sandwich, which just sounds delicious. But anyways, let's begin. So first thing I'm going to uh, get to my Exchange server here. So I have VMware Workstation 8 running on my laptop. And you can really tell VMware's stepping up their game because their logo has uh, changed into this 3D format, which just says, hey, I'm all business. Don't mess with me. And you can see I have two virtual machines running. I have a domain controller, VMDC, and my Exchange server, VMEX1. So I'm just going to get in here. And then we're going to make this full screen just because it's a little bit easier to work with in full screen mode. And you can see I already have my Exchange Management Console launched. If I need to launch that, I could hit Start, All Programs, Microsoft Exchange Server 2010, and then launch my Exchange Management Console. And once that's launched, I just expand Exchange, the Exchange on-premises here, Organization Configuration, and come to the Hub Transport section. Now the Hub Transport role in Exchange 2007 and 2010 really controls mail flow within your organization. Every piece of mail that is sent from any user in your organization is touched by the hub transport role and not in a naughty way in a good way and one of the things that we can do as message flows in and out of your organization is apply what Microsoft calls transport rules so we can add these rules that will do things with the message maybe delete a message if it has certain content or a certain attachment or we can add a disclaimer message for instance which is what we're going to be focusing on today so once you have the hub transport rule selected just make sure that you click on the transport rules tab as I already have done here and then we can either click in the action pane on the new transport rule link or I can just right click because I'm a right click kind of guy and go to new transport rule and that's going to launch the new transport rule wizard so I'm just going to give this transport rule name and I'm going to call it disclaimer and as you can see under the introduction it says this wizard helps you create a new transport rule transport rules check each message for predefined conditions if the condition is true for a message the rule actions are applied to it now what does that mean so basically what happens is you have a condition an action something's done to the message that meets that condition and then you also have an exception so really the best way to think about this is to have it if then unless so if mail is sent outside of the organization then add this disclaimer message unless the person that's sending it is Bob Jones then don't do anything with it so that's kinda how these transport rules work if then unless is a good way to think of it so I'm gonna click on the next button here now we have to choose a condition so you can see what is our condition? Is the email message from certain people, from a member of a distribution list, from users that are inside or outside the organization? Is it sent to people? Uh, is it sent to a member? Again, all these different conditions in here, so I'm not going to waste your time by reading through them all, but um, you can, can take a little gander and see what you can, you can do here. In this case, we're going to say that it's going to be sent to users that are inside or outside the organization. So I'm going to click on send to users and in this case we'll keep it to inside the organization. If I click on that link where it says inside the organization another uh, option comes up to select the scope so I could choose outside the organization or some other options here but for now we'll say inside the organization which is just fine and I'm going to click on next. Now what we can do is prepend the message subject with a string okay or we can append you know apply a message classification and this is what we're looking for right here though the third option append disclaimer text and fall back to action if unable to apply so I'm gonna click on this little selection so you can see as I continue to click on these things in these different steps it starts to kinda of build this rule for me and I start to see it so it says apply rule to messages so all messages that are sent to users that are inside the organization append Okay, so I can choose append, which means uh, put at the end, or I could choose prepend, put at the beginning. So say at the end here, a disclaimer text. So if I click on the word disclaimer text, now I can type my disclaimer text in. I can say something like this. I do not know how to spell. I'm just going to, I am spell check dependent. That is clearly butchering that word, but that's okay. there we go I'm gonna click on OK and we can see that now that text is added in and um, that's pretty much all we really need to do here and then we can just click on next 
and then I can choose an exception. So I can say accept when the message is from a certain person if I'd like to. Um, you know, you can read through. There's a ton of different exceptions I can add. In this case, I don't want any exceptions. Any mail sent internally, I want to have that disclaimer on it. So I'm going to click next again. And it's going to give me the configuration summary, tell me what it's about to do. And I just have to click on new. That's pretty much it. And we're done. It's completed. Added that message for us or that disclaimer rule is now added. So once I click on finish, you can see my disclaimer rule pops up in here. And I can edit this later on if I want to. I can disable it. I can remove it completely or I can edit the rule if I'd like to later on to uh, make changes to it as necessary. Now let's make sure that it's working. So uh, I'm just going to launch Internet Explorer here. I actually use the Outlook web app um, which is a kind of web-based mail client that comes with Exchange 2010 that you can use. So I'm just going to type in HTTPS because it's secure. Uh, we're going to go VM EX1. There it is right there. Whoops. OWA. So I don't have a security certificate installed. I haven't bothered doing that yet. Um, but in this case, I can just say continue to this website. That's fine. We'll be talking about security certificates in a later video. We'll talk about how you can get those configured. And I can choose, is this a public or private computer? We'll say it's private for now. And I'm going to type in the domain username. So test lab and devader, let's say. Type in the password and click sign in. So there we're, we're now in the mailbox for Darth Vader. And uh, you can see I have his inbox selected. So I can come up here, click on the new link, and we'll choose a, a new mail message. And we're going to send this to myself. There we go. And I'm going to put a subject in here, test, and just type a little brief message, and then I'll just click on send. And now that that's being sent, I'm going to log Darth Vader out. And we'll just close the window. Sure. Start it back up again. So now I'm just going to log in as myself and just make sure that that mail message came with the disclaimer. And there it is. So if I open it up, you can see testing, and then there's our disclaimer message right at the bottom. Or I could have just look, looked in the preview pane over on the right here, which would have been probably smarter. Now, you can see that by default we might have need to change the formatting a bit, maybe put in a space, maybe put a nice thing in there that says disclaimer ahead of it. Um, but you can see that it's been applied. No problem. So that's pretty much it. That's what, how you would add a disclaimer message using transport rules. So just as a review, you would open up your Exchange Management Console, come under Organization Configuration, go to the Hub Transport Rule, Transport Rules, and then click on either New Transport Rule or right-click and say New Transport Rule. Anyways, I hope you found this informative. I'd like to thank you for watching.